Oh my. What's up, guys? My name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. Look, we're back. We're back. We're back in the back of the back of the back. Welcome back to all my subscribers and also my new subscribers. But if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. The subscribe button is right here. You guys subscribe and make sure that notification is on. So when I do upload, you'll get notified. So make sure you hit that notification button real quick. Today, we're going to be talking about something that has been pretty popular throughout these last few seasons and that is my friends wearing all black. So wearing all black has been a thing since the 1920s. This elegant foundation was definitely laid and paved by Coco Chanel which was the little black dress staple inside every woman's wardrobe and we have taken our interpretation of the all black elegance and have been adapting it to our everyday lives today this modern day and age uh, both men and women so a little bit of a historical background of all black maybe I mean fashion school paid off thanks fashion school I appreciate you very much <laughs> even though it may seem like everyone with a brain could put together an all black outfit in today's ethos of style dressing in all black has almost become a competitive thing as black is elegant black is slimming but the most important thing is that all black is kind of dress code appropriate for every occasion but the thing is young space is that black however can be one-dimensional and boring and while it may seem like it's very easy to put together some things you got to keep in mind if you want to look like a fashion maven nowadays first rule that i have is the combination of texture is key when you're styling all black if i'm wearing all black trousers with no texture i make sure that the top that i'm wearing has a little bit of texture to it maybe a little bit of heathering like this one if this has a nice black remnant solid black remnant but nonetheless it's kind of like in that modern darker shades of grays which is an essential to put together a combination of your all black outfit so you don't necessarily have to have an all black outfit to look monochromatic so don't get that whole idea of like you have to have every single element black by mixing these textures is going to set you apart and your black outfit is not going to look so mundane and that's my first thing is knowing the textures and combining the textures to give you a little bit of more depth the second thing you need to know when wearing all black is that if you want to wear all black, if you want to have a basic black monochromatic look, like a basic black t-shirt, black jeans, the shoes will be key in this assortment and you do not, do not want to wear a basic all black outfit like your basic everyday jeans and your basic everyday t-shirt with your basic everyday shoes because then you're just going to look like a mess. You're going to have a very fine line between you and that server who's going to go into his shift in a couple minutes. The objective of dressing in all black isn't necessarily create a I don't really care statement. It's more about it's more about putting out the vibe that I could dress in all black and look stylish, not I don't really care what I'm wearing, I'm just dressing in all black. Unless that's what you're going for, then that's fine. You may want to skip this essential part. <laughs> when you are wearing an all basic black outfit, you're going to want to make sure that your shoes are up to par. That's going to be the essential in your outfit that's going to elevate your look and style. So so make sure you have a nice pair of shoes. It could be leather boots. It could be a nice pair of leather boots. It could be a like darker gray Chelsea boot or a tan boot. You don't necessarily have to stick with that full black, black look. So make sure that you have some shoes that are gonna set you apart. And if you do wanna wear all black, black on black on black, don't wear shoes like this. Don't wear this outfit right here because you're just gonna look like a server and you can tell it just doesn't look cool. By stepping up your all black basic outfit and aligning them with the right pair of shoes, it's gonna make you look even sick and just very like, then you're gonna have the I don't care but my shoes are hella sick kind of vibe. Now I think a lot of people may have a misconception about wearing all black and what season it falls under. Black is definitely a seasonal category. Like you have to know how to style black, how to shop for black depending on the season that you're in. Um, so I know that, for example, you can't wear a black beanie in the summertime if it's super hot because you are committed to a very monochromatic look. You're gonna wanna make sure that instead of you having a beanie on, maybe you could buy a sick large brim hat so you could look like you're aware of the seasons and you're like, oh, I'm gonna wear this large brim hat to cover the sun from my face. And you wanna stay away from your, like, your cashmere and your wools in the summertime. Make sure that if you are wearing all black in summer, that's totally fine. I know that in the summertime, I'll wear a t-shirt. Maybe it's gonna be a very oval, deep cut. Uh, like the ones I wear could be a shirt with a seersucker or very breathable linen and a black material Just make sure that the fabric is suitable for the season and just look at what's out there I mean if you guys don't know fabric names or fabric options uh, that are suitable for the whatever seasons, Just look out look at what's out there and just try to find something appropriate for for that season But if you are truly committed to the all-black look It's actually a good thing because there has been a lot of essentials that I've gathered and put together in order to spruce up my wardrobe you're 
going to want to explore new options and different ways to spruce up your 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 style dark navy blazer a leather jacket but these are elements and staples that are, that are going to create depth in your wardrobe and that are going to be an essential regardless if you're going to wear an all black outfit or not uh, I feel like these things are going to be necessary in all aspects of your wardrobe, so it's good to have. I think the most important thing also in terms of buying all black is investment. You need money to invest in a very solid uh, arsenal of black clothing. And I think it depends on totally what you're doing and what you're wearing, what you may be wearing all black to. I know that for me, if let's say if I go to maybe a, a holiday party, I'm going to want to dress in a nice all black suit that's fitted and tailored uh, that also may have a better quality cotton than what H&M and Zara has to offer so it totally depends on you and the good thing about having an all black like suit if you are going to invest in an all black item that's something that's going to be around for a long time so don't be scared to invest in darker shade items because that's going to go with more of your clothing so it's completely different if you want to go get a you know a more of a pastel vibrant color a blazer that you may wear like once a year rather than having like a black essential that you could wear with a lot of things and for different occasions so it totally depends on you totally up to you guys it totally depends where you feel like you need to make that investment in. so there is no right or wrong essential uh, to invest in so that is it for today guys if you guys have any questions make sure you ask me down below and I'll answer them let me know how you guys like to wear your all black outfits because I'm very intrigued by different styles of black outfits and the actual variety that there is out there and just having an all black look so it's very intriguing and very interesting like I said it seems like it's competitive nowadays so let me know what your best black outfit idea is down below if you haven't followed me on Instagram go follow me on Instagram guys I'm almost at 10k so just let me hit that 10k mark it's the weekend, it's Mother's Day. Do it for do it for moms. Do it for moms. Follow me at Bycross Roberto. Go make your way over there now. Give me a follow. I upload content all the time. There's a lot more content happening. Also, we throw events, and that's basically the first place where I kind of give the announcements for the events and also my stories are always popping and lit. So my young space, I appreciate you guys stopping by my YouTube channel this week. Thank you guys so much for showing support and love. Don't forget to put style on everything. I'll see you guys in a couple days with a new video because I didn't upload last week. So thank you guys for stopping by my YouTube channel. My little young spades. My little young spades. I'll see you guys on Instagram. Peace out. Uh -huh.